everybody and welcome to some more time spent on Rustic Ridge Farms. I am your host, Ilhome, and we have got some things to do. Let's say hi to our kitty cat nugget and see what else we got going on. The weather for tomorrow is oh, partly cloudy, so no double day of rain. Okay, the only show, the spirits are displeased today. They are not happy. All right, let's grab this. We will make some more of this. See what's going on here. Dear neighbor, I hope you are feeling settled into your new home. I am writing to let you know that Pierre's store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you swing by and see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so, Pierre. Can we make fertilizer? <clears throat> Look, we can already make fertilizer, so we will use that later on in the year. When we have to grow things like melons and pumpkins and all of that good stuff. For now, though, I think we can put some of these things away. That'll give me, let's see, two more. That's four. Do we have any more? Oh, dear. Oh, no, we have just enough. We have just enough. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We have just enough left. Do I need the, Do I need a crab over at the community center in the... the Crab pot? Yes! Look at that! Well, we'll just take that with us then. And I think what I will do is I will upgrade the pickaxe. And we'll run around. Well, first of all, we're going to run around and we're going to do a little farming. <clears throat> it is a Tuesday, so we can buy some more crops. We do still have 12 days left. Uh, which means, I, I think maybe potatoes are in order. We'll grab some potatoes that'll give us a little bit extra money yet. We are done with parsnips. We have already turned in our cauliflower, our potato, all that good stuff. We can sell those straight to Pierre. Let's go chop down a couple trees real fast while that bar cooks. Uh, I think too, what I would like to poke around in. I need some... Uh, we need some oak. I think we also need some tappers. And uh, I'm going to leave this tree on the right there for now to be able to put one of those on. And along with, let's see, those two trees here also, I think. You know what? Let's just do plan for these three. And we'll just recognize the fact that we're going to need some copper kind of as, you know, as soon as possible, really. Yeah, we're going to need some copper, like ASAP. Okay, let's go into town, sell our items, and then we'll go run through the forest, maybe. Recruit some salmon berries for our enjoyment. Grab all the forage that we can find and do our best to level up foraging. I, I need to get to level, oh gosh, what is it, level six foraging? Uh, yeah, I think level six foraging is what we want. That will enable us to build a lightning rod. And I kind of need that to get a battery. So, <laughs> so here we are. We're just killing a little bit of time until everything opens. All right, everything's open, so let's go. Let's go into town. We'll drop off some stuff. Maybe check the store and see if there's, you know, a little program uh, thing here. Nope. Oh, no help wanted. I was hoping for help wanted. Oh, well, an event. Hello, everybody. Oh, let's see everyone shopping. Journal updated. Welcome to Pierre's. How can I help you? I, I wonder. I wonder what the update was. <clears throat> oh, look, it's Morris. <clears throat> Should we give him, like, a pretentious accent? We could try, I suppose. Come and get it, folks. Coupons for 50% off your purchase at Jojo Mart. 50%?! Well, any takers? I really don't like Jojo. <laughs> wow. Everybody went for it. But I can't match those prices. I'd be selling at a loss. Indeed. 
it must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. But can you blame them? Joja Corporation is clearly the superior choice. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And soon the whole town will realize it. I kind of wish they did a little bit more with Joja as the uh, sort of like antagonistic, you know, thing. It would be interesting. Okay, so. Well, let's real quick, what do we have? Like 20, about close to 30. So let's, let's get, oh, we can get an apple tree. You know what? Should we get an apple tree real, real, real quick? Um, I, don't know, I feel like, do we even have that unlocked? I don't, I don't know that I do. Let's just take a quick look. Uh, the Brewer's Bundle, yes. Wood, foraging, exotic, okay, that's not too terrible. Fish, no, treasure. You know, it might be on the bulletin board, huh? Oh, goodness, I would really like to have that taken care of if it's there, but I don't know if it'll be there, and so I'm very hesitant to, to do that. Okay, let's just buy some potato seeds. I like 20... 30 seeds? Sure. Yeah, 20, 30? Yeah, here we go. That will make us a little tiny bit more money. It still leaves me with enough cash to be able to upgrade the pickaxe. Uh, so we'll do that. And then I think, like I said, we'll go look for forage and maybe chop down some trees. Okay, upgrade tools. We'll upgrade the pickaxe, please. Very nice. That'll be two tools upgraded already. Uh, we do have this crab to take up to the community center, which is all fine and dandy. I'm going to run down here. Oh, there's a forage. Yes, 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 yes. Pretty, pretty daffodil. Uh, okay, let's go down to the beach. Uh, jump down to the beach and see if there is any exciting forage that we can grab. You know... Maybe we should real fast fix that, try to fix that bridge. Okay, do I need the thing I just picked up for the community center? Uh, that's a great question. Let's check. Uh, yes. Okay, so we have two more crab pot items. We can get, you know, we might be able to get all of, all five of them just from regular forage now that we have the crab. Instead of actually having to have a crab pot. Okay. Um, was there... Where's the ocean fish? Oh, red... Yes. Uh, we do need to fish today. There's no guarantee that it will rain more. Oh, boy. It's gonna, this is going to kill some time, sadly. I would love to chop down trees today. I really would. But I think... You can only catch a red snapper during the rain, during the daytime, in the spring. Uh, when I get back to the farm, we're going to plant our seeds, and then I'm going to real quick double check to see if that is in fact the case. I think that's the case, but my memory is not always, uh, you know, correct. So, we'll plant these real fast. And then we will see what we see about the snapper. But I, I think that's true. All right. Six more. Three. Three more. There's a spot right up here. Doop, doop, doop. All right. Do we have any more random seeds? No, it doesn't, doesn't look like we do. We can put some of these things away. I do have 300 wood. Ooh, that's like all of my wood, though. <laughs> Do I really want to do that to myself? Not sure. Uh, not sure at all. We can put those away. Uh, 25, 13. Let's, let's save those. Bring that with us. Uh, we look, yeah, I, you know, I am going to make a chest really fast. Okay. And now we're going to color it black. Make a black chest. And then everything that's sort of like mining related... We'll grab and we'll put into that chest. Is there anything else that's mining related in here? Um, ah, yes. And you too. And I think that 
pretty much will cover it. Okay. So let's put this stuff away real fast. Very good. And we'll put that in there because I don't need that right now. <clears throat> we will bring those two and we will take those with us. And uh, again, I think I'll leave the wood in the inventory in case we get lucky. Now, let me just check real fast and see about this red snapper and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and it looks like the red snapper is summer and fall when it's raining, so that's nice. Well, let's go do that. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Let's go chop down some trees. I think I will go, well, yeah, let's chop down some trees here. Try and clear off a little bit more space in the, in the actual farm itself. And in addition, let's put that there. And uh, the other thing that we need now is some copper. We need some copper copper bars. So we are definitely going to have to go back to the mine, but it will be a couple days before we can do that since our pickaxe is being worked on. Let's just leave those seeds for now. And I don't need this pine tree because we have a pine tree up top. Very nice. Now, do I take this wood and run it down to the beach? I think I do. I think I do. Okay, let's put those away. We'll put away the wood that we don't need. There's no sense in carrying bonus <coughs> supplies, you know. <coughs> Sorry about that. Ah, yes. Give someone a gift. Okay. Well, you know, we'll get around to that. Sorry for the throat clearing, by the way. Sometimes when you talk a lot, it just, uh, you know, kind of just gets stuck back there. <laughs> And that's just uh, the reality. Oh, doo -doo -doo -doo. oh, more salmon berries. Uh, how did I miss this? We literally walked right through there already. Nope, oh, nothing there. Nothing in those bushes, nothing in that bush. Okay. Now, hopefully we can find, what, a piece of coral maybe? Or some clams over here? There is a sea urchin. <clears throat> I always like doing this in the rain because it fades to black, but it's not really black. It just fades to, like, the rain overlay. <laughs> it's a good time. Okay, there's some coral. Very nice. Is a sea urchin one of the things? I don't think it is. I don't think coral is either. Hello, friend that we can't do anything with. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think any of that counts for the crab bundle. Uh, no. <clears throat> okay. Well, it was worth a try. In the hope that we could find something. We're just going to sell those things. Uh, yes, you could save them for use in, like, you know, uh, crafting. There might be some stuff later on that would ask you for them, maybe. But uh, we're going to sell them. We'll get a little bit of money out of it anyway. Don't fall in the water. Nice. Okay, so salmon berries. Yeah, let's... Run around, we'll get some salmon berries, we'll cut down a few more trees. Maybe we'll even eat some salmon berries. So we can chop down even more trees. And that'll be great. Boo! we clear some of the garbage out of here, too. Which is always good to do. <clears throat> da -da -da -da. Chopping down trees, it's exciting. Wood is a very valuable resource in this game, and it comes to a point in time, as I've mentioned, that I just... It's the one thing I need constantly. To be fair, I don't often chop down trees quite so early in the game in such proliferation, but, you know, it's, uh, it's nice to try some different things every once in a while. Definitely running low on energy. We're going to have to eat some of these berries. Uh, now, you can sell the berries, but honestly, until you get to the point uh, later on where the salmon berries and the blackberries are like triple the uh, like price that you can sell them for, which you get via uh, an event later on in the game, um, <clears throat> and you're getting like iridium quality berries, like it's just, I don't know. I don't find that selling them is really worth it. Uh, it is nice in the beginning here to be able to just 
spam eat a bunch of them for energy when you're out trying to chop down trees or, <clears throat> you know, when you're in the mines and you, you know, you just don't want to take a bunch of other things with you that you could maybe sell for actual money, you know, because you can, you can eventually get there by eating these berries. I mean, yeah, it takes a while. It's not quick. It's not a fast process to restore your energy by eating salmon berries, but... I mean, it does work. You know, you can get enough to kind of keep going for a little while. Yeah, energy being probably one of the biggest limiting factors of the first uh, couple of months of a Stardew playthrough. Other than just, you know, money itself. <clears throat> because you don't have a lot of extra income to just kind of throw around with things. As we found out when we went to try to buy that battery... I would have loved to have bought that battery, by the way. That really would have saved uh, some <clears throat> some stress. Because I like to get the community center stuff done as fast as possible. I often forget that that bush is there, so I'm glad I chopped that tree down. I probably would have forgotten. All right, let's see. Maybe there's some onions. Oh, there's an onion. Oh, there's a couple more. Oh, I see some more onions. You know, actually, we've gotten a lot of forage today. <clears throat> like a lot, in fact. Oh man, there's so much stuff down here. Look at all this. Linus, Linus lives well in the valley. He just can run around and get enough to eat for the day and enjoys his time in the tent. I think it'd be awfully cold out there in the tent, though, if you were Linus in the wintertime. I think, I think the winter would be unfortunate. The rest of the year, yeah, maybe not so much, but wintertime, definitely not, not super fun. Not super fun. Uh, I was trying to think of, like, uh, questions to ask while playing, and uh, I thought about this one for a while, and I was like, you know, I should ask everybody. What What is the first tool that you upgrade? What is your upgrade plan? Do you have a plan, or you just sort of fly by the seat of your pants? Uh, as I think I've mentioned before, I tend to upgrade the... Axe and the pickaxe uh, very, very quickly. And I tend to wait on the hoe and the watering can until summertime. Ideally, you can get into a place in summertime where you get two days of rain in a row. That's kind of really what you want. Summer, spring, whichever. You want a couple of days of rain in a row so that you can... Upgrade your watering can in particular without having to pause in your crop growing and, in that sense, making money while you're waiting for your watering can to get done. Now, you don't always have that option, and sometimes you still have to miss, a, like, a regular day, but uh, sometimes you can get lucky and it all works out. So we'll see if that works out in the summertime for us. But I tend to get the pickaxe upgraded quickly. Mostly so that I can uh, mine faster and get iron faster. Gold, yeah, okay, not so much. I don't really, I must say, I don't really like try to blitz for gold. But iron is very useful for a number of things that you need. Uh, and, and that especially we will need in this playthrough because of that brewer's bundle. Uh, we are going to need a couple of kegs, like, as fast as we can get them. And that is not only wood, but oak resin, and a uh, copper bar, and an iron bar. So we need iron pretty much as fast as we can get it. And also, we're going to need tree taps. So I need a lot of copper, actually, <clears throat> so that we can get the, the casks going as quickly as we can. I think we're just going to spend our day chopping down these trees. They'll grow back on their own. We don't have to do anything. They'll just uh, re-sprout themselves, and they'll be back here. Oh, probably by sometime midsummer. And we didn't even have to eat very many berries. Which is great, honestly. And we're back over 300 wood, which is really, really... Really, really good. Now, if I... I don't think I have time. I was going to say, I want... I would love time to go to the upper left part of the Cinder Sat Forest screen. 
just to see if there's any more berries over there or forage, but gosh, by the time I walk all the way over there and all the way back to my farm, I'm thinking there's not going to be a lot of time to get into bed in time. So let's, let's walk over as far as I dare, and that's about it. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, we got two. Oh, we did level up our foraging. We got two berries. Yes, there we go. So our foraging did level up. We did level up a foraging point. Can't go across that bridge. I would love to break that rock. Yes, yes, I know it's late. I know I'm trying. I'm running. We're moving as fast as... Well, I don't I want to say humanly possible, but as fast as the game allows us currently. We are moving. Okay. Should put all of these things away. That's great. We can sell those. I don't think they're worth very much, but, you know, we'll sell them. Let's grab the watering can. <clears throat> Let's put these down here so that we are ready to go for the community center tomorrow. Sell those. Very good. Uh, do I want to fish or do we want to chop down more trees? Well, that's a good question. Excuse me, cat. Nugget. Thank you. <laughs> I would like to get in the house. Appreciate you. There we go. Foraging level four. That's great. So every four levels, you get another berry. So level eight, you would get three berries. And like I said earlier, if you eat some pancakes once you hit level 10 and you have level 12 foraging then because it gives you plus two foraging, you actually get four berries per bush. And when I did that <clears throat> in my last save, I think I got almost $90,000 just from getting blackberries. That was it. Just just blackberries, $90,000. And if that's not easy money in this game, I don't know what is. The sea urchin, worth a little bit of money. The coral, not so much. But the sea urchin, $160 for picking something up off the ground. I'll take that every time. What do we have, Queen of Sauce? Coleslaw. Oh, we already know how to make that. That's why I didn't read it. All right, what do we have tomorrow? Ah, beautiful sunny day. Okay. Well, it looks like it's a beautiful sunny day right now in Stardew Valley here at our farm. Rustic Ridge Farm. Let's keep watering our plants. Thankfully, yesterday we didn't have to water a single seed. And that's always lovely when that happens. The rain is great. You know, the, one of the things, though, I, I said earlier, you know, pine tar, not used for a lot, except for making rain totems. And so it's not very feasible, but I suppose with enough resources, you could just make enough rain totems to get through an entire season of Stardew without actually having to water anything because you just use a rain totem every day. It's not already scheduled to rain. <laughs> So wake up, check the forecast. <clears throat> if it doesn't say rain, uh, then you know what to do. You use a totem, and then it will say rain. And uh, there you go. <laughs> you hear distant thunder. And then it rains the next day. So my initial plan uh, when I was thinking this over was actually going to be to upgrade the watering can. But then I remembered that we had planted all these strawberries and I do not want to lose any time at all on the strawberries. Uh, I really just don't even want to miss a day <clears throat> so that hopefully we can get as many strawberries from that as possible. I think if you skip even one day of watering, then you, you're in a situation where you only get one harvest out of them if you plant them mid-season like we did. And that is not what you want. That's just not what you want. So we just have to water them every day and put off the watering can upgrade. That will impact me a little bit when we get here to the next season because I do like to have it done. I try to get three upgrades done in the first season. And I don't know that that's going to be possible this time, but we'll see. We are at $1,200. We could easily fish for enough money. The problem is not so much uh, the money as it is getting the copper at this point. So we'll see. 
Let's grab this. Maybe we'll grab our fishing pole. We'll do a little bit of fishing. Um. Okay. I don't. I don't think we can go in the mine. We don't have any way to, you know, mine. So there's a hope that maybe there was a staircase or two somewhere. More forage. Yes, very good. Grab all of it that we can find. Now we're getting two for two per bush. Oh, baby. I sometimes forget those two bushes are there, and I, I, I mention that because I almost did. I almost forgot that that was there. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Salmon berry season continues. We're going to go check the beach and hope that there's a clam there, which would be really great. Or a clam and... Um, <clears throat> is that a mussel? That, that's not that. What the, yeah, yeah, mussel would be great if we could get both of those. Uh, the crab pot thing would be done without us ever having to build a crab pot, and I would love that. Now, I was having a conversation uh, on Absurdum's stream, actually, uh, and Jess had mentioned that if you get some crab pots and you get some like low-grade fish like periwinkles and such, and you know the, sus the sashimi recipe and you have upgraded your house the first upgrade of a kitchen... Uh, it's actually a really great thing to change that into sashimi and then either just sell it for more money or eat it for energy because it is uh, 75 energy restored, which is a fabulous amount of energy early in the game. Because uh, like right now, for instance, 75 energy, you know, I mean, that's that's like a quarter of our energy, basically. <clears throat> so that's that's a really big that's a really big in, increase in energy. So okay, it's Wednesday. Pierre is closed. Oh, we got an algae. Good job, Lewis. I'm so glad that you threw that out. Uh, okay, Alex, just keep on. Hey, a strange bun. Well, wonders never cease. Okay, what do we have on the board? A sardine. Harvey wants a sardine. Maybe we'll think about it. Do, 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 do. I'm torn between getting more salmon berries and going fishing. I suppose if we went fishing, we could get the sardine real quick. Which would then let us give that to Harvey, and then he would like us more and pay us money. So that's something to think about. All right, let's go drop this stuff at, at the community center, and I will continue to debate the fishing idea. We are we are at 46 salmon berries without even really trying. <laughs> it's not hard to get salmon berries. Okay, crab pot bundle. We'll put this in here. And we'll put the crab in there. And we'll put this super great clam in there. Now we just got to find one of those on the beach, and we're good. We're good to go. Check that out. We'll have another bundle done. That'll be super exciting when that happens. It's very close. I am now going to have to remind myself to excitedly check the beach like every day. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case that has shown up. Okay. Do we have a sardine back on the... in the... Uh, at the house? Maybe. I might. Hmm. That is... That's a good question. Uh, is Evelyn here? No. Is she tending the garden in the middle of town? It is a nice day. Yes, she is. Here you are. Have a gift. Oh, it looks wonderful. It's very kind of you. Oh, you are very welcome. And now we get $100. <laughs> My problem with fishing, by the way, and catching the sardine. Right, that's what we're trying to get, sardine is not catching the sardine. It uh, well, Although there's a little bit of randomness to that. It is more trying to find Harvey to give him the sardine. Harvey is not easy to find for me. I always have a hard time finding him. I really do. Okay, let's see what this is. Please be a sardine and make my life easy. That would be awesome. Doo -doo -doo. That is the opposite of a sardine. <laughs> 
a flounder is much larger than a sardine. Not that I'm complaining. That is, first of all, a lot of energy. And second of all, a decent amount of money. Ah, huh? a herring! No, again, not what we're looking for. Kind of a shame, really. That'd be nice if Willie just sold a sardine. It's like buy it and then still make money on the deal somehow. Like, well, this sardine you can buy for $50, $50, but you can give it to Harvey. There it is. Okay, it's 3.30 on a Wednesday. I don't know where Harvey is. He's probably like in his room or something. Although I think Thursdays he is available in the clinic in the mornings. So let me just let me just check. We have two days. Okay. We'll have to try to remember to take that Thursday over to the clinic, because I don't I don't think at this time of day I can get in. And I don't think he's there anyway. I mean maybe he is. Okay, well we already blooped out of this one, so let's just go get this. Well done. That was close. That was close. That red bar was getting awfully low. It was. It was indeed. Oh, here. Okay. What do we got? Another. Are you serious, game? Wow. Okay. Well, we're going to plant that. We already have. We have two ancient seeds already by spring day 17. What is this run? What is this playthrough coming to? If we get a fire course <laughs> next, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. For real. I'm going to just be over here like cackling like a madman, just giggling to myself constantly. It's going to be great. You will you will love it when you hear it. If anything's going to set me off, it's getting a fire course from fishing. All right, fish. I don't know what you are, but you're a little harder to catch. Oh, maybe it's an eel. It's probably an eel. It's after four o'clock. No, it was a feisty flounder. Yes, very feisty. Yeah, well, better than an invasive eel, I suppose. Not invasive, evasive. It's important to note, some species, I would imagine, are invasive. In anchovy. Hey, do you, any of you like anchovies on pizza? I hear it's really salty. I wouldn't know. I don't think I've ever had an anchovy in my life on a pizza. But maybe someone out there watching has experienced that. And I'm very curious if you are one of those people who has experienced that. How that went? Is it salty? Hi, Willie. I'm sorry. I know. I'm in your spot. Look, it's a good fishing spot, Willie. Okay? It's, it's, uh... I figured if you fished here, I should fish here because that's where all the good fish are. Okay. I will scoot over for you. You can have... Why does he fish so close, I wonder? Also, wouldn't it be interesting if, well, he was standing there trying to fish, if you actually saw him once in a while catch a fish? Wouldn't that be interesting? It's little things like that. That, uh, you know, you could still add into Stardew Valley. There's so much here that's been added and improved on over the years. And, and the game just keeps getting better. But, it, you know, little things like that I wonder about. You know, it's like, wow, you know, you could still do some some things. And then, I mean, of course, this last update with adding the island and, and all the things that are there and the challenges and, and such like, um, of course, that's super cool. Uh, but there's still, I mean, there just still is more. There's still more. And I like it. I like it. This is probably one of, one of my favorite games ever. Uh, I played through it a lot of times, and uh, I just every time is is fun. Every time you play through the game, you learn something. It's entertaining. Uh, there's just a measure of joy to be found playing this game and catching fish. Please be a fire quartz, a ruby. Well, I'll take a ruby. Listen, I will take any gemstones that the game wants to donate to me via fishing. All of them. I'm good with it. Should we make a recycling thing and try and get a cloth from that newspaper? Even though it'll probably end up being torches. I think that's what they turn into. 
I don't even know what you need to build that machine. Probably iron. <laughs> At the very least, copper, which we also don't have. More paper! We're gonna save the paper, just in case we can get some cloth out of it and get super lucky. Will we need the cloth for anything? I don't know, it's possible. It's a maybe. We might need it for a bundle. I, I, I don't know. It's after seven. This is when the dark, the dark nighttime fish come out to play, typically. How much room we got? Yeah, we got some room left. I still can't believe that ancient seed. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. And this is why I fish, by the way, for things like that. For artifacts, for rare items, you can get a lot of them fishing. And so I fish a lot. Also, it makes me money. Which I appreciate. Oh, I thought I heard the noise, but it was a bloop. That's my bad. You don't see me do that very often. <laughs> you really don't. Oh, it's getting dark. It's 8 o'clock now. There's another chest. We're going to go get it. Here we go. And now we catch our fishy friend. What are you, fishy friend? Are you also a flounder? I think it's too late in the day for that. A herring! What do we got now? Bait! Okay. Look. I mean... It's, it's not that exciting. But... It saved me five dollars! And five dollars saved is five dollars earned towards, I don't know, summer crops, I think, at this point. Corn. Melons. Maybe if we're super duper lucky at the at the cart lady, we can find a red cabbage. That'd be super awesome. I don't think I need one for a bundle. Yet. There might be something in the friendship bundles, of course, but I don't think I need one in the crop bundle, which is... Ooh, that's great. That's what that is. <laughs> It's a, it's, a, it's a weight off my, my mind, is, you know? Wow, super fast catches. I like it. Okay, let's get this most of the way up. And let's go grab the chest. Fire courts, I'm calling on you. Fire courts, I choose you. <laughs> Maybe eventually it'll work. Iron ore. Oh, well. No complaints with that either. We can get enough iron ore to make a bar. That'll be great. I, you know, I wonder, do I need those for the blacksmith bundle? Is that one of the bundles or no? Hmm. I should look, because sometimes you have, to, you have to make the bars. You have to smelt bars for the community center bundle in the boiler room, which gets the mine cars working, which is one of my favorite things to get working early. But first of all, we need iridium and also uh, a battery. So that's going to be a really long time, I think, before we get those rolling. Okay, so there's no guarantee now that we're going to catch this fish, by the way. This is now going... This, this, this is now... There's there's something on the line. We got that treasure chest. Good, the fish is being helpful and just staying at the bottom. Fabulous. Hello, halibut friend. Look at all of this... Oh, this is glorious! See, okay, again, can I just stay again for the record? This is why you go fishing. <laughs> Look at that. We got four items that we can put in the museum tomorrow. Four! That is so good. Get that museum done! Yes! I like it. Oh, it's so exciting. For any of you who have played this game, you know how irritating getting items for the museum can be. So, like, that's super great. <laughs> another halibut and another chest. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. What? <laughs> what? All right, look, we're going to get rid of this coral. Because that's not worth it. This is great, though. More damage. Okay. Do we keep fishing? We're out of room. I'm out of room. But maybe we can catch one more chest. Please let it be fire courts. <laughs> Just so I can laugh about it. Oh, it would be so great. I would be so excited. 
I really would be. Ah, oh, herring. All right, we'll fish until, uh, yeah, 10, 20, 10, 30, and then we'll zip back to the house. Because it takes a while to walk there. Because yeah, we're slow. We don't have coffee yet. Last, last fish of the night right here. Last fish of this episode. Do we have a chest? No. No chest. Okay. All right. Well, I think overall that was an incredibly, incredibly successful day of Stardew Valley. When we get back to the farm... Oh. Oh, there's an event! Hello, Linus! Oh, yeah? Linus looking through... Look, I mean, hey, bro, I did it too. Okay, you know? Uh, you, you don't... You don't gotta hide it from me. Those, you can get some valuable things from that there chest. And we wander over. Oh, sounds like those raccoons are back. Filthy varmints. Hi, George. Oh, you turned up at the right moment, son. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. Okay, George. Do, 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 do. Well, hello. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. It was me. I'm sorry. Oh, poor Linus. I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. I like how he slowly walks closer to you. <laughs> Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? Yes, it's disgusting going through garbage. No, it's a shame for food to go to waste. It is illegal. That is George's property. No, but you should get a job and stop mooching off. <laughs> That's such a mean answer. It. No, listen, listen. There's good stuff in there. We should use it. Thanks. I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. You can go on home. I will not rummage in George's can anymore. You can tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. No problem. I will just zip off to the house. Rummage. Rummage. Uh-oh. The saloon. Walking away. Wait. I know what you were doing, Linus. Dot, dot, dot. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. That actually sounds pretty tasty. <laughs> I will say the advantage of single player over multiplayer that uh, uh, I've discovered is in single player, time freezes during cutscenes, but in multiplayer, it does not. And so if we had been playing multiplayer just now, it probably would be eh, 120, 130 if we were lucky uh, and we would probably just have collapsed on the way to the house. <laughs> Okay, let's get some money. Toss some stuff in there. I don't think we need any of these fish. That is great. Oh, or those. Uh, I could sell the diamond, but Maru likes diamonds. So we're going to hold on to it. We are going to hold on to it. Okay, let's put that in there with that. And we have five. I have enough. We've got enough. Okay, now we can kind of see, which is also nice. We can see. Uh, let's put the other sword in here and then hit the organize button. Now we can compare. Okay. Four to eight. Eighteen. To, wow. 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 What an upgrade. Mining is going to be so much more fun now. It, it really is. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot wait to play more. A hundred energy even. All right. You know what? Let's put that in here. We'll, we'll save it for mining. Excuse me. And let's grab an ancient seed. And we need our watering can. And over here... Oh, gosh. There's got to be a spot right by this other one that I can put it. Uh, I suppose one over is not terrible. There we go. Ancient seed number two in the ground and watered. Life is good. 
Let's put the fishing poles in with the fishing stuff. That seems to make sense to me. Okay, there we go, friends. That will do it for this episode of Stardew Valley. I feel like we made crazy good progress. We got quite a few salmon berries to eat for energy. We have four items to donate to the museum. We are upgrading our pickaxe. We also got this really cool, much more powerful sword. Uh, you know, things could just not have gone much better, honestly. And that's that's great. So when we go and pick up our pickaxe, uh, we'll have to bring our geodes. And we'll break those and see if maybe we don't get anything else to take over. Uh, speaking of things to take over, have we... We did take that, right? Yes. And this. Yes. 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 And yes. Okay, because otherwise it would say Gunther can tell us more. And since it doesn't say that, that means we have taken all of those things over there. Now, one last thing to check really quick before we're all done is to go here. Uh, okay. Okay. And so we do need these things at the community center. Oh, well then. Let's take you and you and you. And we'll bring this too, because I, I think that in the morning it will say that our pickaxe is ready. Was there anything here? Wasn't this a terrible luck day? Oh, they were very happy today. Oh, well, that makes the most sense in the world. <laughs> it's going to be sunny, and it's a rerun for coleslaw, right? Yes. Okay. Well, well, well. What a great day to fish. That was great. Level 7 fishing. We can make a cork bobber and a treasure hunter bobber. Uh, also, more proficient with using the fishing pole. And we made a lot of money. <laughs> well, so much for having to pay for that next upgrade, huh? We can totally get that done. On our next episode, we'll take it from here. But this has been a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Our pickaxe is ready. Thank you all so much for being here. And we will catch you in the next episode. Take care, friends.